Now, some people look at God as being like a big policeman in the sky. Right. And the Bible is full of a set of rules. You can't do this, you can't do that, have to do that. And that's not the way it is at all. Right. Um, an example, um, for the first for over 2,000 years uh, after Adam, there wasn't a Bible. Yeah. People didn't have a set of rules. That's true. But in Moses' time, people were essentially saying, God, give us a set of rules and we'll live by them. Yeah. And God said, okay, but you can't live by them. That's right. You know. Um, anyway, one of the things he gave them was, you work six days a week mm -hmm. and you rest on the seventh. That's right. And that day is holy to me. Right. God made it holy, partly because if he didn't, they would just keep working on it. They would. And the example was creation. Mm -hmm. God created the earth in six days, rested on the seventh. Now, there are some people that work seven days a week. That's true. And they wonder why they suffer burnout. If we followed yeah. the teaching of the Bible, said, okay, I'll work six days a week, but I'll rest on the seventh. It's a bit like working through the day and going to bed at night. Yeah. Who says, oh, I'm not going to bed at night because I don't need to sleep. That's not going to last very long. It doesn't, does it? <laughs> so there's lots of things like that in the Bible that if we believe them and trust them, it makes our life so much more meaningful and fruitful. It does. It does. And that's what we're going to study through the next years. <laughs> exactly. We'll keep studying until the time is, <laughs> our time is over or yeah. he comes back. So.